Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Now, the starting as you can probably see from the background here, I have been doing some Christmas wrapping. So wrapping gifts, getting all the preparations nearly there now for Christmas in in essence of literally everything is nearly done, which is a fantastic feeling. However, I have actually just come across the thought of realising that I've recently had a new haircut um, and I haven't updated my channel with it and I've been really trying to do that this year because I've been taking the hair growth supplement program of Viviscal um, which has really really changed my hair. I have had a lot of different uh, styles and I've also made the plunge of having highlights throughout my hair, silvery highlights throughout my hair and I've had that done I think about three times this year. Um, really really liked that but my hair was getting to the point where it was all one length um, and it was my hair actually was it was to chin level it was to chin level in the front as you can see it's very different now um <sighs> what to start with really to be quite honest with you so i have recently had it cut was i 100 percent happy with the experience i'll be very open and honest no very often i talk about on my channel it's important to have a good rapport that good understanding with whoever cuts your hair now i thought that I didn't really have to think too much about it. I thought that because I've gone to this person who's cut my hair for many, many years, um, I thought that I didn't really have to worry. I thought the person knows my hair texture. She knows that I have quite a bit of hair, but she knows it's fine. And she knows one of the concerns of mine is if I'm under a spotlight, um, like let's do it here, for example, um, it can it can look quite see-through. It can look quite thin to be honest with you. Now I'm not losing hair and my hair is much more fuller since I've been taking the Viviscal hair program um, and I have been taking that for nine months now so anybody who has any concerns after they've seen a medical professional about the hair I really really urge you to have a look at the Viviscal uh, hair program for both men and women. Um, going back to the cut so I have literally had I'm just going to show you now the sides of my hair I'm actually growing out so as you can see it's a lot darker here now and it's really growing out and do you know what? I'm quite surprised that it's growing out quite quickly you can see it against my thumb now this was a bold fade it sounds quite funny doesn't it but this was a bold fade so there was literally no hair here at all it was a zero and I can grab hold of that hair and I can pull my finger under it and as you can see there is hair there growing now straight away the one thing which I absolutely hated straight off was this here. Now I usually have it to here. Mm, a lot of hair gone. But without even asking me, the person who was cutting my hair cut it way up here. And to me I was just fine. It looks a little bit silly on me because my hair's finer in this section anyway. But to completely take it up bold, and this is improved, this has improved because it was way up here and it looked just a little bit little, little bit sort of silly. So what I've been doing is sort of styling my hair to cover those areas. And the same is pretty much here. But the ultimate aim of what I'm going for is uh, a bit of a, uh, a longer length choppier style sort of all different sort of lengths so shorter sort of medium lengths and then the longer round here but so then it grows sort of down at the back ever so slightly until we get to about the neck area here and just so it sort of starts to kick out ever so slightly and um, just so it's a bit sort of I suppose that sort of rock and roll sort of style which you've seen on different stars and things before in recent years where it's sort of a bit sort of shaggy it's a little bit sort of spiky but yet if I want that really smart uniformed look I can still do that and slick it all back and slick the sides back as well so I suppose growing that little bit more of a length holds a much more greater potential of what sort of hairstyles I can have. Now, I was playing with the idea of growing the, the blonde highlights out, but I have to admit, um, when I actually, and I don't mind sharing this because I, I rarely get compliments outside of my family. And, um, and of course, having health problems and things at the moment, it's really been getting me down. So whenever somebody does that, it really does sort of lift your mood and spirit. And I went out for lunch yesterday. And um, of course, with the COVID situation, anybody who has been out recently in a restaurant is very, very different um, here in the UK. And um, I got a compliment from somebody. I said, uh, I said, <laughs> I didn't say it to myself, I can assure you. The person actually said that I looked a really handsome chap. And I had really, really smart hair. And you know what? My head literally swelled. And I thought, what a really incredible thing to say. Um, and they really liked the lighter bits in my hair. And I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just leave it grow out now, because when I had my hair cut, and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail. Um, I decided that I wanted to let the dark, my own natural colour grow back through. Um, but what I have consequently from that done, it gave me a little bit of shove to think. Well, actually, it does look a bit cool. It does look really, really good on me. It does suit me. And you've got to have the confidence to tell yourself that. So what I've done is I've booked in just before Christmas Eve on the 23rd. And I'm going to have the white silvery highlights put back through my hair. 
nice for Christmas and for winter. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to kind of call it my Christmas gift to myself, to be quite honest with you, and hopefully it'll have grown a bit in by then as well. Now, you may look at this and you may think there's not too much change. And I do like the cut, I have to admit. Now, I wanted a cut now where I don't have to keep going to the, the hairdressers, the barbers, whatever you want to call it, every two weeks. Because for an undercut, and anybody who has an undercut will know that you it takes a lot of upkeep. The sides being having a bold fade all the way down and then sort of taper towards in my neck into a bit of an arrowed point, which I've worn for years. Every two weeks I'm in that barber's chair having the sides cut having the sides cut and it seems to grow out so so quickly whereas now with the problems i'm having with my groin and getting out and about and things like that um and i just want a, a bit of a different look and i want that sort of bit of a side swooping sort of length here in the front and i wanted this a bit choppy but down here and i had it there but the person who was cutting my hair straight away said for some reason we needed to blend it in a bit before you could let it come down and i thought right so I had about that much cut off, which really, really damn right annoyed me. And um, and I wish that I would have said something when I started seeing the hair come off, but I didn't. I didn't. And um, and then she said, shall we texturize it a little bit? Shall we cut into it a little bit for you? And um, I said, OK, yeah, absolutely. I, want it, I, don't, I, want, I don't want it to look flat and thin because my hair is quite fine. I don't want it to look really quite flat and make me look washed out or anything at all um and then she got a bit scissor happy and you can see that the sides they are nice i have to admit they are nice and they're sort of like this wispy sort of cool look going on and i do like it because i've got the length here and i can cover my hearing aids and and everything looks quite cool to be honest with you and i do like how i've got it today and as you can kind of see it does kind of suit me and i like the blonde bits being able to sort of flick off to the side a bit and everything when it sort of combs straight down now it's nearly to my top lip so in the front i haven't had i've had about that much cut off um from chin sort of chin up to top lip um and then i'd say up to about here mid nose it's been cut into um so the length of my hair it, number one it feels a lot finer but having said that even though it feels a lot finer it does lift a lot more so rather than it being quite flat on my head it gives my hair a lot more texture and it's a bit more youthful it lifts it has a bit more sort of character to it so rather than just all one straight length there's short sort of texturizing pieces and it sort of highlights the highlights bit of a play on words there um, and I just find it looks really really cool and I wanted to share this with you on my channel she did cut off a bit more than what I'd want in fact quite a lot more than what I wanted um, ultimately the main style I don't know if I've really portrayed it in the right way really of how to describe it but it's I suppose it's sort of around this length all the way around and then at the back slightly longer just so it touches the bottom of my neck and starts to kick away outwards and then sort of having it a bit choppy just so I've got some nice sort of like quite sort of cut in in nice like pieces throughout my hair so a little bit I suppose you could kind of say a little bit layered almost I don't really like that term but a little bit layered so it doesn't sit all sort of flat a little bit like the Brad Pitt hairstyle sounds a bit weird to say that doesn't it but a little bit like the Brad Pitt hairstyle if you know him with the sort of the longer hair the sort of the wave in it that type of thing that's what I was kind of going for but a bit more of a shorter and a cut in more version with the blonde highlights so hopefully we'll achieve that I wanted to give you that update because I think I'm slowly getting there it's a shorter version of what I would like to be honest with you so I do like the style it's a shorter version than what I would have liked well, I think that it was all down here, but it doesn't matter. It's cool. It's nice to have a bit of a difference. And do you know what? Hair grows. That's one thing we can count on, doesn't it? Um, but other than that, that was my update for my style. Hopefully you think that it suits me. I do, because it's longer in the front and it is longer now at the back. So it's not shaved in, sort of tapered in or anything. Because, of course, I had that pompadour style for so long. And my hair still goes into a pompadour style. But I had it for so long. I had it all sort of a, a huge amount of hair on the front, really, really sky high. And at the back, tapered down. Whereas now I've got that sort of cut into spread out more. So rather than all on the top, it's sort of slowly coming down at the sides. So I really, really like it. And I hope that you will agree. <laughs> I don't know why I've done that. I hope that you agree that it really, really kind of, I think I'm nearly there that it suits me, to be honest with you. So let me know what you think. Absolutely. Let me know what you think. Is it something what you would think about doing? And just something what I wanted to touch on really, really quickly is a product which I have recently bought myself, which is around the £20 mark. We're going to be doing a review on this shortly, but this is by the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Spray. Now I've got my hair really, really cut in. This is fantastic. It's spraying in the roots rough drying with your fingers and then passing a straight uh, straightening iron through it it gives you a lot of lift and it really sort of makes those sort of pcns 
if that makes sense, those sort of cut in ends of hair, jump out and have a bit more life and a bit more vibrancy about it. So that is an absolutely really, really great product. So watch the channel because that will be coming up soon. That's a really absolutely lovely product. It makes your hair feel so much thicker as well, if that's a concern to you. Okay, thanks very, very much for sharing this one with me. Um, I've got more wrapping to get back to. As you can see, this year I've gone for gold, silvery, I love bows, sort of ribbon, you know, passing the scissors through the the, the, um, the ribbon so it coils up really, really nicely. I've got fabric ribbon and all sorts of things like that in gift boxes. I always think if you're giving a gift, um, then absolutely part of that gift is how you choose to present it to somebody. Um, so I have been absolutely wrapping crazy this afternoon and I haven't got too many left to do, actually. OK, thanks very much for watching this clip. And until next time, stay safe, be festive and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy December. Thanks very much. Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye-bye now.